Hey there, around the water enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Across the Ocean. My name is Matthias in Zurich. And I'm James in Miami. <laughs> Hey buddy, what's happening? How are you doing? And how are things on the other side? Uh, likewise mate, uh, doing really well here. Uh, tons of diving going on. Uh, it's been a very, very busy month. Um, but yeah, just, uh, just you know, always a pleasure to get together with you and uh, talk about our travel plans and our videography. Well, that's great to hear. What are we talking about in today's episode? So we're gonna go through our all time top three favorite places to shoot underwater images worldwide. These are the places where just keep Matthias and I inspired, want to go back uh, and just, you know, always feel like every time we shoot there, we can't wait to go back and shoot again and bring better equipment and just sort of, you know, keep refining our skills because a lot of what we do when we create images underwater is dependent on what we have in front of us, what we're able to capture and what the sites on any given day are able to give us. And some of those we find incredibly satisfying because you shoot amazing footage there. And other times you shoot amazing footage and it's just like, oh my God, if I have one more day of diving, what else would I capture? And you can't wait to go back to those places. So that's basically uh, our topics for today. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got some, some bangers on my list. I've got a lot of nostalgia as well uh, a lot of these places are, are, are important to me um but yeah do you want me to kick it off or do you want to go well you're the guest on today's episode so you go first all right all right well number one on my list uh when people ask me and you get asked this a lot you get asked you know when you're an instructor your students ask you i get asked on every podcast i've ever been on what's your favorite place to dive right it's an obvious question Specifically for this video, what's my favorite place to shoot underwater video? My answer is always gonna be the same to both parts, and that is Palau. For me, Palau tops the list. It's the best reef diving I've ever done in the world. Uh, there's some good wrecks there, which you know is close to my heart, but just in terms of the beauty and the quality of the water and the light and the quality of the coral scapes, Palau for me tops the list. Now, the last time I was in Palau, I think I was shooting a GoPro one. That was it. I didn't have that big camera rig over my shoulder there. It was a GoPro Hero one, the original. So now when I look back at my footage from Palau, I'm disappointed because I wish I had a better camera at the time. And it's still a trip, although it was years and years ago, that I think of on a daily basis. I think of the diving there and I just can't wait to go back. So for me, when anyone asks my favorite place to dive, Palau. When anyone asks me my favorite place to shoot underwater, Palau. It's been the top of my list for such a long time and I really need to get serious about making plans to return. But obviously with the recent events, the country's been on lockdown and it's been very, very tough to, uh, to make any plans of that nature. So number one on the list, Palau. Number two on the list for me is actually Hawaii, believe it or not. Um, I know that's a weird destination in Europe. A lot of people don't go to Hawaii to dive because it's exactly the uh, opposite point around the world for most people. Um, but I really enjoy diving in Hawaii for the sakes of variety. So you've got volcanic lava scapes, which are dramatic and beautiful to shoot. But being in the you know an archipelago in the middle of the pacific you have an amazing variety of dives that you can do and the wildlife you're going to see there so we would go out uh, my wife and i the last time we were in hawaii which by the way was our honeymoon so there's that sort of you know connection as well as a great place for uh, for us to go back to and you know fantastic times that you can do, you know, the man to night dive. You can do the pelagic magic dive in the in you know in black water out in ten thousand feet of water, and then during the day you go out and you do, you know, a reef dive and you're seeing tiger sharks and you're hearing humpback whales breaching and you've got all this fantastic reefscape and so much variety between the different islands as well that there's always something new to explore there. So whilst I feel like I've done quite a lot of diving on a few different islands in Hawaii, I feel like there's still a lot more for, for me to explore and 
again, it's just a place I always love to go back to. People there are awesome. The food's amazing, so fresh, so tasty. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's just a fantastic place to hang out and dive and capture. I, I find it very inspirational. Just a great place to shoot, um, you know, content and video and photos and just never have a bad time there. So. And then third on my list is something a little bit closer to home, and that is Grand Cayman in the Cayman Islands. Um, I love big walls. I find them to be very dramatic and impressive uh, when it comes to sort of, you know, that large, like, wide angle pictures that I love to shoot. I'm not much of a macro person. So what I like is drama. I like big walls. I like huge coral formations. I like wreck diving. In. And Grand Cayman for me has all of those things. Um, one of my favorite wrecks to video and shoot is the Kitty Wake in Grand Cayman. And the advantage of that is it's quite a large wreck, but it's also quite shallow. Um, so you get great sunlight. The water quality is always fantastic. Um, so that's something that I always look forward to going going back to. It's really close for me, obviously, being here in Miami. We're actually going to go back to Grand Cayman, my wife and I, in uh, at the start of July this year for a, a quick break um, to see some friends. So just it's a place that I always enjoy to go. I enjoy to shoot. Um, it'll be my first time going to Grand Cayman with that big camera rig. So just really excited for that as well. And just somewhere that I find, again, really inspirational. So that would be my three list, Palau first, Hawaii, and uh, the Cayman Islands. How about you? Awesome, buddy. That's uh, quite a list, I have to admit. But luckily, I have put some other destinations on my list, so I don't have to copy um, your destinations there, and I can talk about something different. Well, my first destination is Indonesia, more specifically the areas of Raja Ampat and Bali. Now, why is this my top destination to film at? It's also one of my top destinations to travel to. I find that the area um, of especially Raja Ampat in Indonesia is incredibly diverse when it comes to the marine life that you can find there. I think it's, it's even considered to be one of the most diverse, if not the most diverse um, ecosystem underwater um, in all of, uh, of our planet. And you can definitely see that when diving and filming there because you can't really decide what you want to film. There's so much stuff happening all around you at every time that it's really difficult to concentrate on one single thing. And I was kind of overwhelmed at the beginning when I first dived in Raja Ampat. Um, and for that reason, I think this is going to be my first choice, my number one top dive destination for filming underwater. On top of being so diverse and having all your little macro critters like your uh, different types of nudie branch, your devil scorpion fish, which is very special, um, you get also your manta rays, your whale sharks, well, you name it, it's pretty much everything is there in, uh, in the area of Raja Ampat. Why did I mention Bali? Because Bali was kind of what introduced me to Indonesia and then brought me to Raja Ampat because I used to work in Bali for about a year, um, a good 10 years ago. And that's where I kind of started to love Indonesia. Um, Bali, Indonesia, Raja Ampat, all these areas, I find them just incredibly fascinating, not just underwater, but also above water. The culture that these areas have is, uh, is incredible, um, it's very diverse again there on land as well. The people are incredibly friendly, the food is phenomenal, and it's just an overall really, really nice experience to vacation and dive in any of these areas. And obviously, having worked and lived in Bali for a year, Indonesia, Bali is sort of close to my heart and for some sentimental reasons as well, um, I do really love that area. Very similar to your story with the GoPro Hero 1, I also did not really have any good camera equipment with me when I was um, living and working in Bali. I only um, had a small uh, digital camera with me back at that time. I wasn't even filming back then, I was only taking photos. And man, I wish I was uh, already into, I had been already into filming back in that time because when I look now at the photos that I've taken during that time living in Bali, um, and it, 
I just really wish I was actually filming these objects underwater as well and these uh, these animals because I think I could have gotten some really cool shots. But then again, later on, a couple of years later, I went to Raja Ampat and that's where I had a film camera with me already and I was able to capture some amazing footage which is still to this day, uh, I think some of my best footage that I've recorded right there in Raja Ampat. All right, leaving Indonesia, Bali and Raja Ampat to the side, moving on to my second favorite destination for filming underwater, which is going to be Sudan. And this might catch a few of you by surprise, but I do think that Sudan has some incredible diving. Um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's fairly remote and it's not so easy to get there. It's also not very well known as a diving destination. And um, secondly, also because of that first reason, there is barely any tourists there, any divers. Uh, most of the diving is liverboard based and uh, uh, it happens very rarely that once you get to a reef that there's any other boats around there uh, apart from the one that you're on. So. Your, your diving group is pretty much the only divers that are gonna be in the water at the same time with you. And that's just a luxury that, well, honestly, you can't really find in many places around the world nowadays. The diving is really, really good. The reefs are very untouched. And I've heard from people that have dived in Egypt 40, 50 years ago that um, Sudan uh, or Egypt used to be what Sudan is now when it comes to the diving. And you can see uh, there quite clearly what mass tourism and a lot of divers in the water can do to an ecosystem underwater. Um, hopefully Egypt can recover a little bit as well, um, but Sudan is definitely uh, not overcrowded um, and the reefs um, they, they definitely benefit from that fact that there's only a few divers that dive these reefs and uh, the marine life is also, I found, very inquisitive. They will actually come up to you, they will check you out, they're not afraid of you because I guess some of these animals uh, have not even seen a diver before in their life. So they're naturally curious and want to check you out and that's something really cool and something that doesn't really happen in many places around the world. Right, let's move on to number three of my list of my favorite nice. dive destinations and um, underwater filming destinations, which in my case is going to be the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Again, this is a bit of a sentimental choice because I actually learned to dive many, many years back on the Great Barrier Reef. So that's why my heart is kind of connected to that area and the diving on the Great Barrier Reef. And I agree that not all of the Great Barrier Reef is in great shape and um, offers fantastic diving, but there certainly is places and parts of um, individual reefs that are really, really good. Um, specifically talking about the ribbon reefs, everything sort of further north from Cairns, um, all the way up to the Coral Sea, the Osprey Reef and the surrounding reefs there. Um, I have to say that the dives that I was able to enjoy there I would place them amongst the, the top dives that I was ever able to conduct. Um, and for that reason, I think that this uh, destination, the Great Barrier Reef, deserves to be on number three of my list. Also, I really like Australia. I like the Australian people. I think it's a very laid back and easy going country and community. And I've always enjoyed um, staying, working and living in Australia. So that's another reason why the Great Barrier Reef and Australia made it to this um, to, uh, spot number three of my list there. Yeah, fantastic choices. Yeah. And again, like you said, you know, there's just so much nostalgia there. That it's like these places are, yes, they're world-class dive destinations, but we all have a personal story as to reasons why, you know, Hawaii for me, honeymoon with my wife, Great Barrier Reef for you, like early place to dive, you know, some of the first dives. Uh, and it's those that connection, that emotional connection to the destination, not just that it's fantastic diving. So, yeah, I love that. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm sure like we do, every one of you out there has a favorite um, diving destination for diving travel as well as for filming and uh, taking photos underwater. I would be very curious to find out what these destinations are. So please feel free to put them down in the video, uh, not the video description, but the, um, the comment section down below. And uh, I'm very curious to see those destinations. And maybe there is even a match in between some of the destinations 
destinations that you favor to the destinations that we talked about in this video today. And so that brings us pretty much to the end of this episode. And there's not much more left to say than thank you very much guys for your time and for watching. James, what are we gonna be talking about in the next episode? I don't know. You don't know? No. Well, I don't know either, which basically means that we're open for suggestions. So if you do have a suggestion, guys, on what should be the topic for our next episode, feel free to leave that suggestion down in the uh, comment section below and we'll be happy to pick it up and uh, see if we can make it into an episode for the next one coming up. Thank you, James, for joining me again on this episode today. As always, it's a great pleasure having you here with me. And for you guys, until next time, enjoy capturing your underwater adventures and we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.